Hey guys, today we're going to see the fastest method of hitting the level cap in Persona 5. There is no special preparation required for this one or any must-dos, but if you have any experience boosting accessories or skills, it would make this go much faster. The best experience return you can get from doing this is by maxing out your social link with Mishima. During the flu season, monsters and mementos may start with despair state's ailments. Targets inflicted with this ailment will skip two turns then die on the third turn. So what's left for us to know is uh, when is exactly the flu season. These dates are preset and will always have a flu season warning under the weather condition. The dates are 13th, 14th, 15th of November and then again on the 8th and 9th of December. You only need to make it to mementos on one of those dates as you'll be farming for less than two hours to hit the level cap. So you don't need to worry about doing this for prolonged uh, periods of time or wasting a lot of your valuable time which you could be spending on social links. You only need to make it to mementos on one of those days and you'll be able to have a level cap. By the time you are at this point in the game, you will be at around level 51 to 55. But even if you are lower, this method will still work just fine. Once the flu season is in effect, Head over to Mementos and descend to any floor, then simply wait idly for around 5 minutes. You could go treasure hunting, but keep in mind that battles and interactions are simply going to prolong the Reaper's appearance by that amount of time. Mona warned you about this before and you might have triggered it to happen accidentally, but basically you'll start hearing some chains and some flash-like effects on your screen. This means the reaper spawned and is trying to find you. The reaper is usually able to rip you apart instantly if you're not prepared to fight him. However, since it's the flu season, the reaper might start the battle with despair ailment. If that happens, bingo, you hit the jackpot. If it doesn't, you need to run away from the fight and fight him again. When this fight ends, you will get a ton of experience. It's enough to shoot you up all the way to 99 if you keep doing it for around 2 hours. Running away can be a problem sometimes as the enemy will get a few turns in if you fail to escape. However, if you improve your social link with Hifumi and learn Toriyo, you are guaranteed an escape. So make sure you work on getting that as it's the only reason you might get a game over here. Also, make sure your main character has a lot of resistances, especially immunity against instant KO, since if he gets hit, it's game over. A good tip to apply here is to farm one floor away from a safe zone so you can save each time you take down a reaper and never worry about losing a lot of your progress. One warning I can offer you here is try to avoid floors with breakable walls. You know, those floors that contain a hidden treasure behind a crumbled wall which you can smash with Mona? I had that stupid reaper stuck behind a wall once so if you get the reaper warning and he doesn't show up, he might be playing hide and seek with you behind one of these walls. Between this farming method and the money exploit I explained in my previous videos, you never have to waste days farming money or experience again in Persona 5. So drop a like if you enjoyed this video or learned something new and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, goodbye.